Second Battle of Truk Atoll. In mid-February 1944, aircraft from USS Enterprise and her sister carriers devastated the most heavily fortified Japanese naval outpost in the Pacific, Truk Atoll. Thousands of tons of shipping sunk. Dozens of bombers destroyed on the ground. But just 10 weeks after this hammering of the Japanese outpost, new aerial reconnaissance photos have revealed a worrisome development. The Japanese have repaired much of the damage from the attack and have refortified the atoll as a bomber base. The Japanese must not be allowed an air base from which they can disrupt the American island hopping efforts. And in the pre-dawn hours of April 29, 1944, USS Enterprise and her fellow carriers are back in the waters off Truk Atoll to pummel the vexing outpost once again. The aerial reconnaissance photos make clear that Truk Atoll has again become a formidable defensive bastion. The Japanese have added many new anti-aircraft gun emplacements, some radar controlled, a technology that makes the weapons much more accurate. It will, again, be a perilous job for Enterprise bombers to approach the atoll to take out the new airfields. Once again, this morning's attack leads off with a sweep of the skies by Hellcat fighters. The fighters launch in the pre-dawn darkness to clear the way for the bombers to follow. With the fighters on their way toward the target, dive bombers and torpedo bombers begin launching from Enterprise and other task force carriers many miles out ahead of the bombers. The Hellcat fighters cross Truck's barrier reef and prepare to meet a storm of angry Japanese Zeros. Enterprise Task Force bombers spend the rest of the day streaking into the lagoon to pummel park planes, hangars, and bomber strips on the island of Bowen. Bombers also pay special attention to anti-aircraft batteries on Moen, exploding gun emplacements, and occasionally sending long metal barrels hurtling skyward. The formidable Japanese hideout has proven to be a paper tiger. The assault on truck has decimated a vast and irreplaceable quantity of Japanese shipping and bomber aircraft in the Central Pacific. Three light cruisers, four destroyers, three patrol craft, and some 36 merchant ships and auxiliaries. They left a lot of ships there, and I'm glad to report we got them all. The Japanese have also suffered the loss of some 270 aircraft, fighters, and bombers. Hundreds of Japanese soldiers, sailors, and air crewmen are dead. And the loss of support facilities and airfield infrastructure is momentous. Enterprise is responsible for one-third of the enemy's total loss. American forces, on the other hand, have suffered one aircraft carrier damaged, 25 aircraft downed, and 40 air crewmen and sailors killed. For the stunned Japanese, truck will be of no further use for the rest of the war. When the reports first filtered back to Imperial Naval Headquarters that they had lost 220,000 tons of shipping, one Imperial Naval diarist said that the shock was beyond comprehension. It was a truly devastating event.